everyone, welcome back to my channel, GV Envisions. I am Glay, your ICT teacher, and I am making content about SketchUp, AutoCAD, and many more. And for today's video, I will be create, I will be teaching you how to create a bed design in SketchUp. So are you ready? Let's get started. Alright, so to create a, des a bed design in SketchUp, we must first know about the different types of bed. We have the small single, the single, the small double, the double, the king size, and the super king size. So the difference about uh, uh, of this one are its dimensions. So in the uh, this one here that is shown in the picture, these are the standard sizes that applies here in my country, which is the Philippines. And for today's video, let us create a king size bed in SketchUp. So first step is let us create. Uh, by, by this dimension, 200 cm to 100 uh, by uh, 150 cm, uh, 200 cm by 150 cm. So, since I am using meter as my unit of measurement here in SketchUp, just convert this one. So this is uh, the length is two. Enter, and then here in the green axis, go 1.5. Enter, and then let's make again a line that is two meters. Sorry. 2 meters and then let us connect this one as you can see this will be now your base now let us now create a our type of bed that we'll be creating is a floating bed so say for example this one let us go to push push and pull uh, the push and pull tool here click the face and then let us push this say for example at point 2 right so this one or let us just lower it down Let's say, for example, that this is 0.15. Okay, you can see it here. Now, let us give uh, its, let us make it uh, a float. Since we are creating a flow, a floating bed, let us have it here at 0.2. So enter here, and then next is let us go to the bottom, and then let us create a. By the use of the offset, this one, click the offset, and let us create. Say, for example, this is 0.20. Or point uh, four, then enter, and then next is push pull, uh, pull it, and then type point two, so it can hit the ground. Uh, sorry, so it can hit the ground here. This is point two, and then let us just connect this one here. Next is let us now. Uh, next is let us now construct the headboard in this side. So let us uh, say, for example, this one up to this one. Let us say that the height. For the headboard is say for example let us have it at the height of point uh, eight. So this one, and then here let us now uh, connect here. Then give it a height of point eight, and then connect. So this one, this one now will serve as the headboard. Now let us give the thickness. Say for example the thickness is point zero three. Enter, and then this one just push. This one, push it here, then push. This one, use the push pull, and then we can now delete the unnecessary lines by the use of the eraser tool. Right, so this one. Now, as you can see, there is a dark part here. If you are distracted to that, just click the face, and then go to right click, and then go to reverse faces. Same goes as to this one here. Click, and then right click, and then reverse faces. So, okay, now next is let us delete this unnecessary lines right next is let us have a say for example uh, if you are not satisfied with the height of the headboard you can increase it once again so for example let's increase it with the with 0.2 meters and then now let us create a design that uh, let us create a side table design here so say for example we'll be extending this one here point that I say 0.5 and then I'm using the push pull tool here click and then stretch 0.5 so this one here will serve as your this one here will serve as your the side table here right next is next is that us push this one say for example this is 0.4 and this one as well is 0.4 okay now this will be the the uh, this will be the side table design here then let us now create the design of our Headboard. So, say for example, let us have it here. Let's create a line. This one. And then next is let us 
uh, say for example, let us create a, a here, click here, and then let us add some thickness in our side, so this one, and then let us now create a depth here, so say for example, this is 0 0.025, next is this one, uh, just double click so that the previous command will be repeated, and then delete the unnecessary lines over here. Then say for example, let us give some additional height over here. Say for example, is let us give a height of 0.03. This one and this one as well, 0.03. Okay, next is let us have it, uh, let us create a design here. Let's say, let us create a vertical design here. Say for example, this one. Now, let us click this one and then press M and then move and make sure you hold control and then go back to this one. Let us type any number that uh, fits, say for example 14 and then press slash then you can see uh, these lines here. Now if you want to learn about this command in copying, I have a separate tutorial to that. How to copy and duplicate objects in SketchUp so you can watch that one. I will post the link in the description box below. Now say for example this one that us also create some say for example this one let us create and move and then here let us say 0 0.0025 enter and this one let us create 0 0.005 enter now click this one say for example this one click this one and then this one as well and then m let us move and then hold control okay this one or you can just press say for example 12 then x enter okay you can see here that there are these these are already uh duplicate okay there's already a duplicate over here now if you also want to learn this this is also found in my tutorial on how to duplicate object in sketchup so we don't need we don't need this one so let us just delete these lines over here once you're done you will let us press push pull here and then let us give the depth say for example 0 0.02 and then here 0 0.02 next is you can just double click to repeat the command it's like just like this one all right so now let us also have some design in our table just like we just need to use the offset then let's say we have it 0 0.02 and then here we put the we just push it uh here say 0 0.03 a uh, 0 0.02 and then this one push it in this side and then let us repeat what we did in this in this part as well so just create a line here delete this unnecessary line next is offset to 0 0.02 and then push this one to 0 0.02 and then this one push at this area now delete the unnecessary lines that's found over here all right now you have this design already now to have the the effect of a drawer just create a line here and then next next part is that us copy this one let us move this upwards say for example 0 0.005 and this one is 0 0.001 oh sorry let's say that this line is 0 0.01 0 0.01 and then let us copy that us select this two and then move it this one and copy to the other side and to this one next let us delete this un uh, not unnecessary line here and then push 0 0.1 0 0.01 0 0.01 and then at this part as well push 0 0.01 right so now we have this uh, effect of a uh, this effect of a outside table now next is let us also create uh, apply some materials over here to all right so let us apply this one using the paint bucket tool if you want to learn how to edit or how to apply import and edit materials in SketchUp, I also have a separate tutorial in my YouTube channel. So I will post the description below. You can watch this one to learn more about SketchUp. Now let us say for example, let us have let us apply a color here. Example is this one. You just need to click the the material that to, that you want and then select it to the particular object that you want to apply with, just like this one. Next is to make it uh, more realistic when it comes to the bed design. We can also go to the 3D warehouse over here. Play this one and we can search for a design such as example a bed foam or a pillow. 
so if you also want to learn about that one i also have a separate tutorial about that one it is how to import models from 3d warehouse so you can i can i will also post this the the link in the description below so that you will be guided And here is it with the use of the 3D warehouse. I, I got um, a model of the foam, the pillow, and the blanket, and also some uh, lights uh, lights here for our side table. Now we can also just adjust this one in order for it to fit in our bed. Example is this one. Let's adjust it quite a bit. Right. So here, so that is how you create a bed design in SketchUp. So if you want to learn more about SketchUp, and to create models and also to create your design of a house in SketchUp, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video and to God be the glory.